You know, over the years, Carolina Camera has done a lot of stories on local musicians, and all have been quite talented. Quite talented. This morning, we are digging into the archives of Carolina Camera with John Carter after he came across a welcome surprise at his house. Okay, what are you talking about? Uh, well, uh, you know, I've been going through a lot of things uh, in my house here because I'm making room for Jackie's things. Uh -huh. I just got married. Uh -huh. and, and while I was doing some organizing, I came across these old records that I'd had stored away for years, and I mean many, many years. These are records by Gary Ray, who was on the verge of really making it big in the world of country music when I met him back in 1989. So I wanted to check back and see what had happened over the years. Gary Ray was 50 years old, living in High Shoals in Lincoln County when I first met him. He worked full-time at a furniture factory, but his passion was music. He loved to perform, and he was good at it. I had rather be in front of a crowd trying to entertain any time than to, than to be trying to work at something else. I just, I love, I love to try to entertain. Gary had just released his first music video and it was getting national attention on TNN. This week's independent artist spotlight features Gary Ray, a native of High Shores, North Carolina. <laughs> Gary had been playing the Southeastern Club circuit as well as local venues and had several songs and videos that did well on the music charts. He was even nominated for a Grammy. Without question, he had an incredible voice. Despite having all the talent in the world, call it fate, call it timing, whatever, the music star status Gary deserved and the riches that come with it just never materialized. But you know what? He still got in the charts and made the national charts with Dolly Parton and Alabama and Cashbox and all those big artists. And he got songs that got in the, in the middle 50s and they were each song he released, John was getting higher and higher and higher. That's Gary's son, J.C., who says his dad had a lot of fame, but not so much fortune. Dad climbed to the top of the mountain. All he had to do was fall off. He just didn't get to fall off. He got that close. Yeah. You know, and, and it, 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 was a, it was an awesome career for us to sit back and watch. Gary Ray passed away five years ago at the age of 77. Based on what he told me back in 1989, I don't think he had any regrets. It's a struggle, but it's just something that you, you, you that keeps you, some, something keeps you driving, keeps you wanting to do it. Don't ever give up. If you're going to make it, I may, I may not, I may never make it all the way. But if I don't, I'll, if I don't, I still won't give up. If you give up, there's no way you can make it. What just an amazing voice, really. And interestingly enough, one of Gary's last records, Extra Extra, has recently been getting a lot of airplay, and get this, in Europe. Really? They love him over in Europe. And before he passed away, they had asked him to come visit. He just didn't think he could make it and do that. But he was really getting a lot of play on that Extra Extra. And uh, one other note, Gary's career has been honored by the Lincoln County Historical Society, and he's also met the criteria to be inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Oh. Oh. where some of the biggest names in the music industry are enshrined. So look for Gary Ray to one day be in the North Carolina Music oh, Hall of Fame. That is that. great. Yeah, That's great. Yeah, that's just, beautiful voice. And I love beautiful. what he says, never give up. Never give up. Oh. Yeah. I mean, look at these. These are old school country. This is old school. It is. It Aww. is. Thanks, John was. Carter. Oh, thanks. We'll be right back.